Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Let's Play the Sims 4 Rainbow Generations Challenge Generation 2, which is based off the color orange. I have found the thingamajiggy. Um, how, how many people can these tents fit? I think I'm going to do a big one just because I can. Um, maybe a lantern. I don't know what I actually need. We got one of those maybe for somewhere to sit down. Again, I don't know. Fire pit, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so it was these little tables over here, which I completely overlooked. So we're gonna try... I'm gonna try to explore, go exploring. Um, and I do actually, that first spot I looked at in the last part is where I need to go in order to start exploring. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring Sunny with us because he's supposed to be collecting Salvadoradian treasure. I don't know if that's how you actually say it, but... Hello. So we need to go through here. Clear path with machete. I really hope this doesn't backfire on me. Like, I don't want him to get super tired from this. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Abandoned pack. Koi stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly a previous adventure had been through here as there's remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There might still be something valuable inside or something dangerous. I don't have a high logic skill. Consumes machete. How long does my machete last? You're just gonna leave it alone. Koi decided it would be safest to leave the pack alone. As he passes by the campsite, he is startled by a poisonous scorpion skittering out of the knapsack. His heart is pounding after that near miss. Oh, why are we all the way up here? Perhaps next vacation? How many trips do you have to make for this stuff? Can you excavate that? He's over there doing sit-ups. Of course he is. Can you come? The machete may be lost. Yeah. If I need another machete, I'll buy another machete. <laughs> Again, money is, is not really an issue. Feeling the falls. Some t something about being in the wilderness with this beautiful waterfall really gets us in the mood for romance. Oh, look at him! Did you find something? <laughs> One artifact shaped dirt clump. Wow. Woohoo bush. Okay. I haven't seen anything else to dig up. Please travel- I cannot travel through. Koi hears a growl and slowly turns to see a jaguar patrolling through the jungle with something shiny in its jaws. The cat hasn't spotted Koi yet. Should he stop moving and wait for it to leave or try to scare it? I have- I've maxed my fitness skill so we're gonna take a chance we're gonna jump scare the jaguar. Koi jumps and grabs a nearby branch with gymnastic grace. He swims over the branch and kicks the shiny object out of the jaguar's mouth. The jaguar runs away and Koi finds a shiny reward. What'd you find, dude? Fire opal. Please stop making messes. That's really not like you. Give him time out. Yeah, that, uh, that gymnastic grace is backfiring on you, isn't it? Oh, he sits on the floor. Okay, so that's the next thing. Let's go fertilize the bush. There's two different things for me to go through. Oh, there's- no, there's three. Like, I will say, this is really cool. Here's somewhere Sunny can dig. Okay, let's go ahead and try to clear the machete. Clear path with machete. Are you going through a bear phase? Oh, no. Okay, it's just from being put in the corner. I was gonna say, I swear. Koi was forging through some thick vines a little too enthusiastically when his machete flew out of his hands and was lost forever in the thick jungle. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen at some point. <laughs> a glint catches Koi's eye and he spies something shiny in the middle of a patch of vines. As he approaches, he notices that the vines seem to move menacingly and that the torn old boot sits among them. Is it evidence of another traveler who wasn't so lucky? Should Koi attempt to retrieve the shiny object or leave the hostile plants alone? Well, I don't have much of a gardening skill, so we're going to leave it. Koi decides it's not worth investigating and leaves the boot behind. As he leaves, he hears a loud shriek and turns around to discover the vines reaching towards him. The sound is terrifying, but Koi manages to run out of reach. Travel to the Amiskin Royal Baths? 
The next step along the path appears to be a natural pool. It might be the, um, I don't know how to say this, the royal baths. Would you like to travel there now? Sure, let's bring Sunny with us. We'll see what this is, and then we'll probably head back to the, um, the house. Can you actually swim in it? Oh, you can. It's gonna make Sunny mad, because he doesn't like fitness. <laughs> Oh, Sunny is way over there. Or, yeah, he's he's pretty far away. Oh, we keep going to places that I haven't unlocked yet. Okay. Do not. Yeah, oh my goodness, dude. Not cool. Not cool. Oh, we are teleporting all over the place. <laughs> Who is this lady? I keep seeing her everywhere. Salome Guzman? Oh, there's an excavation spot. Hold on. I want Sunny to go excavate that. Sprightly Springs. Just being near those natural pools puts the spring in one step. Oh, it's really late. Got more artifact shaped dirt. <laughs> That's so exciting! Okay, I cannot, for the life of me, get a freaking machete. <laughs> um. I've googled it and it's supposed to be sold at the market and it's not like none of the market people are selling it even though it's on one of the tables so I was like okay maybe I can get one off the gallery no I cannot I try to get one off of the gallery and I go to like click on it to put it in his inventory and then I get the Koi does not own this item so I can't get any more freaking machetes which is really frustrating that I, I, like it'll re spawn or whatever on one of the tables at some point over the next couple of days like but I don't have time for that so I guess we're gonna travel and we're just gonna have to tear all these vines apart by hand which I'm not super fond of that doesn't sound very appealing but I guess you got to do what you got to do because this is our last day here so travel through with Sunny okay where'd you go Okay, are there any new, what is this, an avocado? I just want to make sure that he, there's nothing new to excavate. Go ahead and excavate. All right, I'm going to click back over to them. I'm actually just going to teleport us here. Okay, so I've already cleared through that one. That one takes us to the bath. So now we're going to go clear this one. Does it just take longer to do it with your hands? This like has to tear up your hands. <laughs> like I can't even imagine how like torn up he's going to be. Wow. That would make me terrified. <laughs> like I'm not really one to be terrified of heights, but at the same time like, whew. what is this? Tree of emotions. Okay, interesting. How's it going, buddy? Oh. I need to have his, his skills over here. Koi. Oh. Okay. This time it wants a high fitness skill, which can we have? Koi sneakily peeks around the campsite. It looks pretty abandoned and he doesn't see anyone around. He spots an artifact lying on the ground and decides to take it with him. On his way out, a wide eyed sim jumps at Koi and chases him for a while as he serpentines through the jungle. Okay, where are we now? Ooh, pretty. You wanna come dig that up? No, that was some interesting makeup that Sim had on. I found a fossil rock. Okay, and he's digging up something else now. Oh, he's cold. Okay, maybe put that on, I don't know. I'm not seeing any other excavation things at the moment. I don't want to miss anything, but not seeing a whole lot either. Um, don't want to waste time. Look at the butterflies, though. I love butterflies. <laughs> Where else? Can I go anywhere else up here? Or is this just a dead end? Well, these are this, okay. I've already been here. I'm gonna teleport up here because these are the baths. <sighs> okay. Um, ba -bum 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 -bum. Oh, he lost his tooth. I didn't even realize. Okay, that's shiny. That's gotta be... It is a treasure chest. 
Koi is forging through the jungle when he almost trips over a large, strange-looking egg just lying on the jungle floor. Who knows what kind of creature is inside? What should Koi do? Well, we don't have any rocket science, so we're going to leave it alone. He, um, as Koi leaves the egg behind, he notices some rustling in the shrubs nearby. A giant creature lunges its head out, spewing fire at Koi. He runs to safety and nearly avoids getting singed. Ooh. Okay, please get actually get out of the way. Attacked by an alien critter? Okay, I really want him to go back and open that treasure chest. I feel like I'm totally missing so much stuff in these areas, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Or like what I'm supposed to be looking for. Plantains, avocado, black beans. Oh, you're making another mess. Dude, Getting in line. What do you mean you're getting in line? I don't know. Okay, where's my last... Where's that last spot I was? I'm so disoriented. I just saw a pea bush. There you go. No, not nap. Don't nap. Pee in it. Oh, he's running all the way back. Oh, no. Oh, they left him alone. Hey, nice. Now I'm really upset because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that, um... Well, here's a treasure chest, but that's not the one I was looking for. I'm waiting for, like, a curse to come out of one of them. <laughs> Is that the one I meant to find? Surely not. Where'd I come from? This is where I just was. Oh, he's doing his homework. That's a good idea, buddy, because I haven't had you do that at all. Okay, how do I get to where my son is, though? Travel through. Okay, I've got that one. No. There is one more over here I need to open still, but I'm not going to... Our vacation is going to end, like, any time now. Yeah, screw it. We'll head back. I don't know exactly when this ends. Like, when it sends us home, time-wise. But, um... Does it say? Nope. Okay, let's end vacation. And I'll just have to buy machetes at home. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy them off the gallery and put them in my inventory that way. That was so annoying that they're not even giving me the option. So, uh... I didn't realize that uh, Sonny's birthday had snuck up on us. It is, in fact, his birthday. So we're going to add some birthday candles Daddy. to this cake. Okay. We're going to add some birthday candles to the cake. And we're going for it. We're blowing out candles, which means that this is actually the last part. Great face. Of the generation. Which is crazy uh, to think about. But is, in fact the truth we're gonna sell the cake and it actually as soon as he's there you go okay so i need to change that in cast i will do so i'm not randomizing um so he's gonna get clumsy but then we're also going to get um i need socially awkward socially awkward and our aspiration is supposed to be fabulously wealthy this one yes Yes. Oh, oh, oh. So, there's our, uh, our first, oh, <laughs> not a happy face, but that's our first look at Sunny. Uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to quickly place <laughs> some machetes. Um, I'm just gonna pull like, th well, I'm gonna pull like four of them off, but then I'm gonna sell the rest, because I don't need that many. Okay, now I can actually put them in my inventory. Just perfect. My inventory is so cramped. Okay, so that's what these berries are that's always in the um the shops. Like the, the garden shops in Henford on Bagley. I never knew where those actually came from. Because I never do anything with them. <laughs> so um why don't you go ahead and wear a costume real quick? I don't know what to have him wear one as, though. 
I was kind of hoping like maybe a like a well, we could do villain. What's a villain look like? Yeah, that works. I was trying to think of like fabulously wealthy. What could go with that? I don't know. I'm not saying that like you have to be a villain to be fabulously wealthy, but I don't know what else to do. I don't know how all that beard fits in his his helmet. He wants to be friendly. Discuss costume. I love that we're now both crowded into the uh, and into here. Get a promotion and what? You, you go to school. Chat with a non-household sim. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? I haven't had anybody come up and actually trick or treat at the house. Uh, share spooky day spirit. <laughs> I hope that we're in the the bathroom. Um, is that like the only thing I can do? Yes. Sing about yes. Spooky Day. It's okay to be a little awkward. It is okay to be a little awkward. Like the same things over and over again. Compliment his costume. It's not even close to showing that we're in the spooky spirit. Sp tell a spooky <laughs> scout story. I'm just cheating this one. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, oh, somebody's here. Treat. Let's go give Leia a treat. There you go. I only had to do it once. Okay, so the next one we'll let Sunny give out if somebody else shows up. I don't know that someone else will, but just in case. Oh, I love the little ghost banner. Those are really cute. Cute. Oh, he needs a teenage bedroom. Okay. I'm gonna go give him a makeover. I'm gonna, once again, decorate his bedroom so it's a little more mature. And then that'll be it for the video. So I'll be right back. So I had the worst time finding a yellow bedroom. So instead I looked up a neutral bedroom. Um, Where's the one that I ended up using? They're not loading because it was under those because I looked at because I had looked at the one that I ended up using went back was like mm, but then I was like well maybe I should go with that one that I ended again ended up using saw this one I was like no I need to scroll further why is it why is it not it's not loading because it's also at an angle like this. I'm so sorry. I did not decorate the room myself. I just downloaded a room and grabbed stuff from it. So I'm very sorry that it is not showing up. Cause, and like and that really confuses me. I wish there was like an option on the gallery that you could see like things recently viewed. Like so in case you are like, you're scrolling and you find something you like and then you click off of it and then you can't find it again really useful but you know, kind of neutral um i kind of like that it was a salva like a salvadorada or like a jungle adventure bed i thought that was actually kind of fun that maybe he had like he actually quite enjoyed going on this that adventure and so now he has something he also has a computer of his own now um and now it's time for his makeover Okay, and here we have Sunny as a teenager. So I figured with him being like socially awkward, clumsy, he's kind of giving, I'm like, he's got high logic skills, so he's kind of giving off nerd. So I figured he'd probably be drawn to more um, sweater, kind of, nothing super loud that really sticks out. Um, so he's got three different outfits. Uh, I feel like this one is actually probably the, you know, quote unquote loudest. Um, but then he, he looks so sharp in this outfit, like, oh my goodness, um, his athletic work and he's not, he doesn't like fitness. I don't see that, like him being in that very much. This is his sleepwear, party Ooh. wear, again, kind of channeling that nerd with like the, the graphic tee under the blazer. Nothing special with his swimwear. Mm. Or his hot weather outfit or his cold weather. Now I figured because he will eventually end up moving to Oasis Springs 
that, you know, since he currently lives in Mount Komorebi, he dresses a little more appropriately for, like, the heavy winters. But once we move out of Mount Komorebi, he'll go to wearing, like, a sweatshirt or something. Um... So that 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 is him. I once again I was really debating if I should give him the like the brightly colored like yellow and blue hearing aids that he had as a toddler again, but it just didn't feel like they matched with anything and they were just so obnoxiously bright and yellow. Um he does still have his birthmark on his back. Um I'm not going to show it to you cuz I don't remember if it's in the right location. I just know that he's supposed to have a back birthmark and so we're just going to go with what it has randomized to. Um again, I hate that it doesn't carry over which birthmark your sim has like as an infant or as a toddler. Um uh, because when he ages up when he aged up from a toddler to a child, he didn't have a birthmark anymore and said he had a vitiligo on his body. That is mm -hmm. so frustrating. It, I know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he went, mm-hmm. It's so annoying. Drives me nuts. Because um, I'm like, oh, I don't remember where the birthmark was. I don't remember where, like, unless it's on their face. And even then, I sometimes have a hard time remembering what it was on their face. So that is it's so annoying. Um, but that is actually where we're going to leave it. Um, you can go and go to bed. Oh, I need to give him socks. I'm actually going to take him back into cast before I forget about that. Um, but that, that, that's it for this generation, which is kind of crazy. Um, I hate when I'm never paying attention and it just kind of sneaks up on me. Um, but, I mean, that's, that's where we're at. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my gaming channel and my Twitter both linked down in the description below. If you would like to check either of those things out, I would greatly appreciate it. I am going to be going back to my, um, my Sims 3 A to Z family challenge. Um, that will be starting back up, so... Uh, if you would like to start leaving baby names, I'll be honest, I have no idea what letter we left off on. Um, but we'll be starting that back up. And, yeah. I don't know how long that will take. So it might be a hot second before we, we come back. I'll need to make plenty of reminders to myself that we need to make sure we continue to, like, go on adventures every weekend. Um, and that, like, right before Koi dies we need to start trying to set things on fire so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching though and i will see you all in my next video bye guys